Hello and welcome to Tech Talks. My name is Lisa and I'm the Digital Services Librarian at St. Albert Public Library. And today I'd like to talk to you about digital magazines. I bet there's quite a few of you out there who are missing your physical magazines and you may not know that you have access to digital magazines. So let's take a peek at what digital magazines we have and how to access them. So you're going to go to www.sapl, sorry, www.sapl.ca, our website, and you're going to tap on eLibrary. And there we go. And that brings you to all our digital content. Now the one we're going to look at is called RB Digital. And I'm going to tap on more. Now I'm recording on an iPad, so this is going to look different if you're on a computer or on a smartphone. There we are. So here's RB Digital. So in, in addition to having magazines, it does have comics and audiobooks, and it's also where you access Acorn TV. Today though, we're going to focus on the magazines. So you can use RB Digital in a browser. If you're on a mobile device like a phone or a tablet, you can download the app for Apple or Android. In this case, we're just going to tap it and open it in the browser. And it's just loading. There we are. So when you open up RB Digital, this is what you're going to see in the browser. So more if you're on a computer. You'll see Acorn TV is first and the audiobooks and here are the magazines and then comics underneath. So if you have not registered for an RB Digital account, you will need to do that first. You just tap on register and fill that information out and then you're all good to go. So let's take a peek at these magazines. So here they are here. I just tapped on Explorer to get to all of them. So there's 169 of them. You can sort them um, in different orders. Relevance is what I've got them sorted in, or you can do them titles A to Z or Z to A. So quite a few things here. Now you can filter. Because I'm on a mobile device, it knows that, and the filter isn't very nice in the browser. So we are going to change and use the RB Digital app. Same content, there we go. Looks somewhat similar. There's Acorn TV first, the audiobooks, here are the magazines, and then the comics. And if you're using the app, once you've created your account on the browser, you can just sign into the RB Digital app and then you're good to go. So let's take a peek at these magazines. So I just tapped on View All, 169 titles. Again, like before, you can sort them by na name, sorry, not name, none or A to Z or Z to A. In this case, I want to filter them. So here we go. So if you're searching for a specific title and we're going to put in, let's say, Canadian, oops, spell correctly, Canadian Living. You don't need to write magazine, there we go. So it picked up Canadian Living. So you can sort by title or, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Let's say you're not sure what title you wanna read, but you wanna look through for genre. So maybe you're interested in food and cooking. We're going to select that genre and here we go. Here are all our magazines that are cooking and baking. Now they are sorted according to the most recent to the oldest. So there's quite a few different ones here. We're going to have a look at Cooks Illustrated. So when you tap on it, it'll give you a description of the magazine. There are back issues and you can definitely check out the back issues as well. So in this case, I've checked it out already. I'm just going to show you quickly how you check it out, it's really not hard. If you like it, you just tap on checkout and then you're good to go. And once you've tapped on checkout, you're going to see it turns green and it says read. So we're gonna tap on read. My internet's a little slow, so it's gonna take it a minute to open it. There we are. And so this is how it opens on a mobile device. On the computer, you won't see it quite this same way, but it's still fairly similar. So I'm just gonna tap in the middle to get rid of that menu. So you just turn it just like you're turning a book. And again, if you're on a mobile device, you can zoom in and out. To get the menu, just tap in the middle of your screen and you'll see there's all the pages along the bottom. You can see the contents down in the bottom left. There's all the pages, or maybe you prefer to do it by article, more of a newspaper style, you can do it that way. We'll go back to pages. So that's two different views that you can do. Now you can also do a text view. Now this takes a couple minutes, there we go, to load, there it is. So that's where it's taken out most of the pictures and just showing you the text. And then you can zoom in and out as much as you want, which is what it's doing right now, there we go. Now format, let's say you're like me, I really don't like reading in black and white, I much prefer sepia. You can change it to that 
or you can change it to gray or black or lighten it even more. You can change the brightness here. You can change the size of the font. You can really customize it to make it easy. And you can also do text to speech where it will read it out for you. So that is how you can customize the way the magazine looks. So let's just go back home here. Back to our magazines. So how do you find out the magazine scenes that you checked out? Where would you find them? Click on those three little lines and you're going to click on checked out. So this is where all of the magazines that you've checked out are going to live. And any of the ones that you have downloaded will have downloaded in green. The ones that don't are in gray. Now you don't have to download them. You can just read them connected to the internet or you can download them. So let's just open one, the one we had open. And let's say you're already, you're done with it and you don't want to keep it. You can return it. And again, you can keep these magazines indefinitely. There is no due date. So I'm just going to take it off and say, I, I'm done. There we go. Return successfully. And if we go back to my checked in, that magazine is gone. So really, really easy to do. And it's nice that they have everything all in the one app or in the one spot on their website. So super easy to use. Nice compliment to the physical magazines, especially right now when we're looking for lots of different content to use. A little bit of everything. So if you have not tried digital magazines, I highly recommend that you check out RB Digital Magazines. It is free with your library card and I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you.